Welcome to this video tutorial on how to edit 3D trees to represent different seasons in V-Ray for Rhino. In this tutorial I'm going to be using a 3D tree downloaded from V-Ray's Cosmos browser which can be found just on the left tab of your asset editor in V-Ray under this browse materials in Cosmos. Under here we can click on this little purple icon to load up the home and look under vegetation to download a 3D tree for our scene. And I'm going to be using one of these mountain order trees here in this particular example. So we'll just import this into our scene like so. Once we've imported it, I'm just going to hit the escape key to close my import function and then we can close down that menu. Now, when you bring this tree in and if we just render this out as it currently is, you'll see that we've got a nice kind of leafy green tree here, which is great for certain scenes, but it might be that you've kind of brought this tree in and you now want to start to edit this to represent a different season, perhaps an autumn tree or a winter tree in the scene you're rendering. Now, when you bring in objects from the Cosmos browser in V-Ray, usually when we bring it in and we locate the object in our asset editor, just under the geometry tab here, You'll see that if we click on this mountain order tree and open up the right hand tab that it just gives us a little preview of what that looks like and we haven't got too many materials or kind of things we can edit and change with this tree. Now in order to start to edit certain materials in here we first need to merge this tree into our scene. So if we click the merge button you'll then see we have each of the materials that make up that tree and these can be found in our materials tab under here and we've got the kind of leaves We've got the kind of branches that make the tree up and the tree trunk there. So with these materials in, we can now start to edit some of the components of this tree in order to give it a different look and feel. Now the first thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and give this tree a kind of yellowy orange leaves to represent a more autumn look to the tree. So to do that, I'm going to take the leaf material here and we're first just going to duplicate this material by right clicking and hitting duplicate down here to create a copy of that. And in this, let's just give it a name and call it Autumn. So we know kind of exactly which file that is and which kind of leaf we're trying to create there. Now, in order to create an autumn looking leaf, we need to tone the leaf color here slightly yellow in order to represent that yellowing leaves of the tree. To do this, we can click on our sort of diffuse map to have a look at what the texture currently looks like and you can see here they're sort of green leaves so we need to add a color tint to this. The easiest way to do this is if we instead of this bitmap we click on this little icon here to replace it and we're going to replace it with a color correction like so. When doing this we'll lose the image we had so in order to get the leaf image back into this color correction I'm going to go back to the first leaf material we made, right click on the texture and copy this, go back to my autumn leaf, find my diffuse, click in here and under color and input in this color correction we're going to paste as a copy in there. So all this is doing is I'm just copying that image texture map and pasting it into this color correction slot here which will then allow me to change the hue of this image, the saturation, the tint and all of these features which means we can kind of color tint this particular leaf in a very certain colour. Now for this I actually want to give it a tint of a sort of orangey yellow so I'm going to find this in my colour tab there and we're just going to up that tint strength to a rounded strength of one. You might find this is looking quite dark so what we can also do is change the brightness of the piece. Now usually I don't do this just with the brightness tab because you'll see it becomes quite washed out and white so instead of using this, I switch this to a gain, gamma and lift option and we just up the gain here and usually upping it to a sort of two or a three brightens that leaf color up and you might then need to go back, tweak this slightly, we might need to up the saturation a bit as well and you just want to play around until you get a nice sort of golden -y, yellowy leaf in there. So once we're happy with that, I'm then going to go back just using the back tab here and have a look at my leaf material and it looks like there we've got our nice kind of golden yellow leaves. Now at the moment what we can do then is if we're rendering this out obviously at the moment I've still got those green leaves in there but if we want to switch this green leaf for one of my yellow leaves I've made I can go back to the geometry just under the geometry tab locate that tree and under materials where I've got my kind of leaf material which is found here we can switch this by just clicking on the drop down arrow 
and choosing my autumn leaf there and there we've got that kind of nice orangey yellow leaf in there instead so very easy just to switch between the green leaves and the orangey yellow leaves you'll find with this that if we wanted to create both a green and an autumn tree we can't do this purely by copying the tree if I make a copy of this and I just move it over here for example just using that copy tool you'll see that they're both green currently and if I go back to my asset editor and I change the material of one of these into here it will change the material of both of them so when you create a copy of one of these proxy objects it will actually just create an identical copy or an instance of this which means any materials we change in one will also change in the other now if we wanted to create a copy but be able to tweak the material of that copy so it doesn't match or isn't identical to the first one we need to duplicate this tree and this can be done just by right clicking on your object in the geometry tab and hitting duplicate here and there we've got this mountain all emerged one now you can see here suddenly we've got this big bit of bark in the preview and the reason for this is I'm just going to pause my render currently we're going to zoom out on the screen and if I try and sort of move these around actually these are the two identical ones this new tree I've made if I right click and select object in the scene is actually coming in as this tiny little dot here and the reason for that is this custom preview in here is set to this point preview and I'm going to just change it to a proxy so we can see it and you can see there that it's coming in it's way too big it's much larger this sometimes happens when you duplicate these proxy models they might tweak the scale and one might be suddenly scaled up I found that the majority of the time this is scaled up by a factor of 10 in this case I'm pretty sure it's 100 so I'm just going to scale it in 3d choose an origin point down here and scale it by 0.01 there which is one kind of a hundredth of this and then I hit enter and it scales it right down now that I've got this I've got my first object and I've got my second one here which means if we kind of call this one autumn again make sure we spell there we go when we render this out now we've got our sort of three trees here but they've actually got different sets of materials controlling them so if I select that autumn tree go to that leaf material and tweak it to my autumn leaf then you can see we get that orangey leaf so this is how we can create different versions of the same tree in our file as well so that's the sort of autumn tree we've made there but now we can move on and we're going to try something else and we're going to actually try and strip the leaves off completely to represent a winter tree or a tree that all the leaves potentially have fallen off to do this I'm going to actually edit into this autumn tree here and we're just going to zoom in on this tree so we can see it in a bit more detail there with that rendering out we're then going to go back to that material I'm going to find my autumn leaf there and instead of tweaking the color here I'm going to go down to the opacity and essentially the opacity will is able to cut the leaf out from its background to create this kind of leafy shape the way the opacity map works if I select this as you can see it's a black and a white image texture wherever it's black the kind of geometry disappears and wherever it's white it stays solid what this means is if we want to make the leaf completely disappear if I clear this object out just by hitting clear and then under the opacity if I select that texture go to the color option and just do the color as black you can see there it essentially cuts the whole leaf out effectively rendering it invisible in this particular scene so although the leaf object is still there it's actually rendering with no leaf because of that opacity map and this is how we can basically make the tree look as if it's got no leaves on even though the geometry is still there we're just using a completely black opacity map there in order to make the leaf invisible if for instance I made this completely white they'd come back that way because we're then letting the leaf through so black makes it disappear and white leaves it solid so that's just a really quick way of stripping the leaves from your tree to create a kind of dead or wintry tree look there now for the last part of this video tutorial I wanted to look at how we could effectively create the look of snow fallen on the leaves now usually this might be quite difficult that we have to sort of render out some snow and manage to simulate it on the surface of the leaf but if you're looking at the tree from far away and it's more of a zoomed out effect you want we can actually do this really easily the easiest way we can go about doing this is by actually taking 
our first tree here. So we're going to take the first piece we made, we'll just delete one of these, and we're just going to move it to land exactly on top of the other tree. Now the easiest way to do this is use the Move tool, and if we click on the Vertex option here, we can actually snap on one of the vertexes of our tree, and then go and line it up with one of the vertexes on this other tree there. Now with that tree I've just moved, I'm now going to move it down ever so slightly, just a little bit, like so, so it's just hovering just below the original tree. You don't want to do it too much, just so it sits kind of below that geometry. So essentially the two trees are on top of each other, but one slightly below. What we're then going to do is I'm going to go back to my asset editor. We're going to find that autumn material there, which I just used the opacity map to strip the leaves off. I'm actually going to revert this back to its original opacity map, and to do that we're just going to go back to this first leaf material, find the opacity map and just copy this, copy, and then paste it. Here's an instance in there, so it's the same. Now currently we're still on this orange leaf texture, so if we render this out and have a look at it, you can see we've kind of got these two leaves sitting on top of one another, like so, an orange on a green. Now in order to make this look like a kind of snowy material, all I'm going to do is we're going to take this texture off just by deticking that object, and we're just going to change the colour of this from a kind of green colour to a white colour, like so. So we'll just tweak that and make that white there. And there you can see pretty much already it's making it look like a sort of snow material. You can also remove the opacity map if you want to make that look a little bit thicker. It will kind of lose the cutout of the leaf around the outside, which just makes it look a little bit snowier. And we can also do the same thing to the branches if we want, where we can make this look like snow. But actually for now, I think that's working quite well. Now with this technique, it's very much a sort of zoomed out effect that works well from zoomed out, but when you zoom in, you can usually detect that it's just a kind of leaf on top of the leaf. It's kind of just the two bits of geometry, one on top of the other to create that effect, but it's particularly effective from far away and it renders very quickly because it's just purely a kind of second piece of geometry just hovering slightly above the first in that way. So a really easy way to get this kind of snowy effect on your trees. The great thing with this effect is we can actually also use it when scattering these trees as well. In order to do this, we just need to create two scatters that sit directly on top of one another. So you could create a forest of snowy trees using this effect. We'll quickly set this up here so you can see. But essentially, if we just made a new scatter, by clicking the thing we want to scatter, creating a scatter object using this, under that scatter, we're first just going to add in the first tree into there, like so, by selecting the tree and hitting Add Guests and then we'll just turn the density down to 0.01 for now, so we have a few of these. So if we have a look in the render, that just looks like this kind of forest being scattered. And then to sort of duplicate that, all I'm going to do is take that scatter, duplicate it, we'll call this scatter snow, like so. And then under this, I'm going to remove this guest here, and we're going to add in the snowy one, which is the one above, just by hitting add guests there. And then in order to apply that, all we're then going to do is take this geometry, let's minimize these for a second, use the copy tool, select the vertical option on the copy, and then as we did with the tree, we're just going to copy it vertically up, just so it's hovering above the previous one. Once we've done that, we can select that plane, find our scatter snow and apply it to that selection. So all this is doing is it's just scattering the snowy tree and the green tree in exactly the same place, one on top of the other. And it kind of creates this snowy forest effect for you because they're both essentially using the same scattering properties as each other there. Um, what you'll find with this is if we then go back to one and I tweak the density of it, if I tweak this to a 0.2, you'll see they won't line up anymore because suddenly one of the scatters has a different density to the other. So if you change a setting on one, you have to go to the snow one as well and change the setting on the snow one too in order for that to work. So they both line up together. 
but essentially that was just a quick video tutorial on how you change the kind of season of a tree, change the look and feel of a tree once you've imported it into Rhino using V-Ray. And you can see it's very quick to create autumn trees and winter trees just using these quick tweaks to the colour of the leaves, the sort of geometry of them and tweaking that opacity map as well. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and if you want to watch any other videos on rendering and image creation in V-Ray and Rhino, please watch the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.